All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep that life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Man, this got to be the most devastating situation that you guys will ever hear of, probably in NBA history. As uh, the other day, I told you guys about the story about NBA star for the Portland, uh, for the Denver Nuggets. Uh, his other brother, Michael Porter Jr., other brother got banned for life from the National Basketball Association for gambling uh, and betting on his games and betting against his team, betting, I mean, betting on his team to lose and giving information to gamblers uh, uh, against, uh, you know, his team to make bets in order to win. And he actually uh, point shaved and actually uh, stat shaved, I should say, and actually gave information to where he was going to take himself uh, out of games to help betters win a lot of money. That was his other brother, Jonte Porter, uh, who played basketball for the Toronto Raptors, and he was actually banned. Uh, for the NBA for for life uh, yesterday. And now today, in the aftermath, an unbelievable situation has happened today, man. Ash, absolutely unbelievable. Michael Porter Jr.'s other brother, his other brother, who plays basketball as well, the other brother has now been sentenced to six years in prison for uh, vehicular homicide uh, in a drunk driving situation now according to reports from espn it says that colbin colbin porter the youngest brother of denver this boy this, michael porter jr brothers i don't know what the hell going on man what is the world is going on with this dude's family bro it says that his youngest brother colbin porter was sentenced to six years in prison today for a drunken driving crash that killed the woman in Colorado last year. It says it killed the woman named Kathy Lyman Rothman and seriously injured her passenger. Now, Michael Porter Jr.'s brother, who caused the crash after he ran a red light and slammed into the other vehicle, received an additional two-year sentence for the passengers for the passengers' injuries that he will serve concurrently. Now, according to the Denver Post, the prosecutors Today in court said that Mr. Porter was speeding and had the blood alcohol level of a 0.19, more than twice the legal limit of a zero of a 0 0.08. It said Porter had pled pleaded guilty in February to vehicular homicide and vehicular assault as a part of a plea agreement that had reduced his sentence to a maximum of eight years. Also, it says. You know, he says, all I can really say is that I'm sorry, he told the court today, according to the Denver Post. He said, I know that I'm never going to be able to right that wrong. I never thought I'd be standing here. I thought I was invincible, he said. It was the first time I chose to drink and drive. I'm so sorry. Michael Porter Jr. testified. The NBA star Michael Porter Jr. testified on his brother's behalf during today's hearing saying in part according to the denver post that i know that if i were in your shoes and it will reverse i would have a lot of feelings as well others also spoke on the behalf of the rothman family the family that this guy took the lady's life uh, it says that colvin porter had been a freshman at the university of denver men's basketball team prior to the crash, averaging 11.4 points per game during the 2021-2022 season when this happened. It said Porter's sentencing follows Wednesday's announcement that the NBA had banned Michael Porter Jr.'s other brother, John Tate Porter, and after an investigation revealed 
that he had violated the league rules by disclosing confidential information to sports bettors, limiting his own participation in one or more games for betting purposes and betting on NBA games. This is unbelievable, man. So Michael Porter Jr., his one brother, is banned from the NBA for life. And his other brother, who was coming up that plays basketball, that probably was going to go to the NBA too, lost his NBA career too because he'll go to prison for damn near the next decade, according to the reports, for vehicular homicide, man. Unbelievable situation. How do your family, how was you in the NBA and your family crash out like this, bro? I don't understand. What in the world is going on with the Michael Porter Jr. family, bro? I, I don't know how this is going to affect Michael Porter Jr. He's getting ready to go play the Los Angeles Lakers. To, I guess tomorrow is the game, game one, um, for the NBA Western Conference playoffs first round. This is unbelievable, man. This whole situation, man, to have your br one brother banned for life and your other brother, who both these brothers play basketball. Both the brothers of Michael Porter Jr. play basketball, y'all. And both of them have completely lost their basketball careers. And so, I mean, this is, un bro, I have never seen nothing like this before, ever, to where this dude, had, now he's lost his life, basically playing ball. He'll get out and be able to live a productive life. But as far as his basketball career, that's over with. You can't miss a decade of basketball, come back after you know what I'm saying, uh, vehicular homicide, and then play again, man. This is absolutely devastating, bro. That I, and first of all, let me start Let me start with this, right? He says this was his first time drinking and driving. Hey, man, maybe he was telling the truth. Maybe he wasn't, man. They said he ran a red light, man. And, I, I, man, I, man, I hope Michael Porter Jr., man, this don't affect him in a way that this is going to, like, make him, like, crash out. Because sometimes this can stress you out as a family member, man. Having a deal out, having a deal with all the family members crashing out around you in the bull job. This, all this dude brothers have lost have lost their careers. Both this man's brothers and, and Michael Porter Jr. come from a family of ballers. Both of his brothers were ballers. So the, this guy right here on your screen was averaging 11.4 points per game in college in his rookie year. So in his freshman year, so he was doing well. And then he gets a, 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 a murder charge, a vehicular homicide charge, and it's over with. His other brother, who it makes no sense whatsoever. You're in the National Basketball Association, bro. No sense whatsoever. And you give your career up because you want to gamble and bet on games? I don't understand this, bro. And now your Michael Porter Jr., has to see both of his brothers, and, and trust me, bro, this got to be hard, bro. This have to be hard, bro. If you got brothers and both of your brothers are out of here, bro, because of the decisions they made, man, I'm tell y'all something, bro. I don't know where it's coming back from this, man. When I read this article, you guys, I put on the screen. When I read this article, bro, this article broke my heart, man. It broke. Y'all see it right there on the screen. It said, Colvin Porter, brother of Nuggets star, sentence in a fatal crash man that's crazy bro and i didn't even know he had a co concurrent sentence they gave him more years you guys uh because of the other person that he injured in the car and so he would have got more time if he didn't plea out and then trust me i'm gonna tell y'all something else if he wasn't the brother of michael porter jr in denver he'd have got even more time bro trust what i tell y'all this if he wasn't the brother, if his brother wasn't an NBA star, this boy would have probably got more time in prison. So him being able to get a plea, cop down in a deal, and you know what I'm saying, get less than a decade in prison for, for murder, he he got lucky, y'all. Because real talk, he probably they'd have probably hit him with a with a way bigger sentence if Michael Porter Jr. wasn't his brother, man. And so for me, man, I feel bad for Michael Porter Jr. because Yo, this your brothers, man. Like, your brothers is crashing out, bro. Like, your brothers ain't got no responsibility as men. Like, bro, yo, yo, if you're a Coven Porter, if you Jonte Porter, bro, your brother's in the NBA, bro. Your brother is on a $150 million contract. 
What the hell is wrong with y'all? What like I, I want to say this again. If you're John Tay Porter, you, you, that has to be the epitome of stupidity, the other brother of Michael Porter Jr. Your brother's making $150 million and you in the league. How in the hell you crashing out? Then if you're Coven Porter, you're a basketball player too. You coming up. Your brother's in the league, bro. Why is you doing anything crazy that can jeopardize you and you're playing basketball? Like, you, this dude though gave his whole, both his brothers now have lost their basketball. And listen, I seen Michael Porter Jr.'s father. I know Michael Porter Jr.'s father is devastated by this, bro. His father has to be devastated, man. Because Michael Porter Jr.'s father is a very supportive person of his sons. Michael Porter Jr.'s father, I remember the first time they played the Lakers in the playoffs back in the 20, when the Lakers won a championship. His father went down there and was courtside watching his son. And they were all down there. His father was big on his sons coming up. So I don't know why his sons, like, got out of control because I don't see it from his father as being a guy who didn't care about his sons. Like, I saw his father in his son's life. So this is, like, very – y'all smash the like button as y'all come on in. This is very confusing to me because I don't understand, like, why would you do that, man? Like, both brothers. Why would you do that? So now y'all already know everybody in the NBA is talking about Michael Porter Jr. with the betting for, as far as the other brother because they're like, hey, your brother was doing this and he was in the league. What you doing? You know what I'm saying? So now you don't brought unnecessary heat on your brother because of the foolishness y'all doing. So now instead of focusing on the playoffs, the media is going to be asking Michael Porter Jr. about both his brothers all week long, especially because this just happened. Uh, where his brother just got sentenced today uh, for that murder. And the other brother yesterday uh, just got um, banned from the NBA for life, bro. This is crazy, man. Like, I, 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 I hope and pray for the family, man. Like I said, man, I've seen Michael Porter Jr.'s father before around a lot. His father, like, seemed like he very into his son's life. And sometimes, man, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Sometimes your kid crash out, man. You do everything you can do to try to raise your kids, man. And sometimes it be like that, man. I'm, I'm just be honest with y'all, man. Sometimes, man, you know, the kids go left, man. They do what they want. They do what they do what they want to do. I seen some people online talking about some, you know, Michael Porter Jr.'s family is full of criminals. Like, bro, you can't really say that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if those two did something wrong and Michael Porter Jr. did something right, you can't really punish Michael Porter Jr. for the acts of his brothers. Or his, his father, really, I mean, because once you become a man, you do what you like. These dudes, they did. I think people got to understand this one thing. Y'all hit the like button as y'all come on in. These two dudes were technically men when they did this. So they're not boys no more. They're not in the father's house under the father's tutelage. Bro, let me ask y'all a question, everybody who's judging Michael Porter Jr. for this. Or, and his father. How can you, if you're, if you're a father, if you got kids... Once you your kids have left the house, bro, you can't. It's nothing that you can do, really, pretty much on a day to day basis to control them. Once your like, if you're a father, once you've given all of the tutelage, knowledge, understanding, and everything you can give to your kids, once they leave the house, bro, it's over with. It's on them. It's on them to be productive citizens, bro. Like you can't like. Always say, hey, man, where was the parents at? Because I see some people saying, hey, man, he got bad parents. What's the parent? That, you don't know that, bro. You really don't know that, man. So, like, dudes is crashing out. Like, how many of y'all, y'all parents told y'all to do one thing and then y'all took it to the streets? Because y'all wanted to because of peer pressure. So, again, bro, like I said, man, everybody that's just blaming his parents, saying they was bad parents and stuff, bro. These people is grown, bro. Grown folks, when y'all was grown, y'all did what y'all wanted to do, regardless of what your parents may have taught you, bro. Y'all did what y'all wanted to do, bro. You made certain decisions in your life, bro. So if you made those decisions, bro, you got to stand on that. A lot of guys is making decisions, and they got to stand on that, bro. I'm just telling y'all what it is, man. You know what I mean? And so I'm telling you guys what it is, bro. I'm being honest with y'all about the situation, man. And I'm letting everybody know what it, what's going on, man, like, this is a horrible situation, man, because, again, man, Michael Porter Jr. is going through the playoffs now. How in the hell does he get blamed by, about this uh, and his brothers and his father? When I, every time I seen his father, his father looked like he loved his son and is active in his son's life. And all the sons were playing basketball. I mean, bro, the other son made it to the NBA. 
this son was going to probably go to the NBA too. That's their fault. If your daddy got you on the right path, going to the league, and you crash out and do dumb shit, that's you. That's your fault once you become an adult. So stop. we got to stop blaming the father or blaming Michael Porter Jr. because Michael Porter Jr. can't babysit his brothers. He's getting the NBA doing what he do. But then again, if you're his brother – and you know that your brother is a, is a star in the league on a $150 million contract, bro, you got to know, look, man, I got I to gotta do this thing correct because I'm a reflection of my brother. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, this dude on the screen is lucky. He only got six years for murder. He's lucky, bro. He's lucky he only got six years because Michael Porter Jr. is your brother. You're lucky, and you're in Denver. You're lucky, bro, because if that wasn't your brother – I'm telling you right now, bro, I see this dude doing more than a decade for that. And I'm being honest with y'all, man. And so I feel thoroughly devastated about the situation because, again, man, shouldn't nobody have to go through this, man. Y'all smash that like button as y'all come on in here, man. Shouldn't nobody have to go through this as brothers, as family members, and things like that, bro. Shouldn't nobody have to go through this, man. It's devastating, man. Like, on one day, you find your other brother, and then the next day, your other brother gets sentenced to jail for murder. Uh you know, and loses his career. So both of your brothers, who both were basketball players, who both were good, both lose lose their life as far as the basketball world and your other brother goes to prison for a while. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, 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 man, this is, um, and now you got to go into the playoffs and perform knowing that people are going to be asking you these questions, judging you, being judgmental of you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fans, when you go on the road, are not going to be nice to Michael Porter Jr. They're going to call his brother all kind of names. They're going to use all this stuff against him, bro. He's going to have to be strong-minded in this playoff run. And I, I don't think that you guys or a lot of people are putting the proper estimation on this. When Michael Porter Jr. go on the road and when he's at home, it's still going to be people that are, criti that are critical of this situation because some people don't care about the basketball. They care about a life was lost. They care about the game was cheated. So especially when you go on the road, this, I'm telling y'all this, bro. I hope to pray and pray for the best for his family, for the brother. Like I said before, man, like, again, man, I mean, for, for Michael Porter Jr., but, I mean, he can't really control everything his brother's doing. You can only tell him to do something so much, you can't be with them every single day, man. So, again, my prayers go out to the victims in this situation, you know what I mean, uh, who lost their life. Uh, also, uh, you know, hey, man, look, the other brother, he's a damn fool. You're going to bet on basketball, you in the NBA. Like, you a damn fool. Uh, and you cheating on the game as far as uh, going out the game and cutting your stats to help win bets. That's dumb. you going to get banned for life. Anybody that says that he shouldn't have got banned for life is a damn fool. You don't know nothing about basketball. You can't be doing that. If you're the smallest guy out here point shaving to help bet, help other people win millions of dollars. What the hell you think gonna happen when it gets to the big players? So yes, you ban, you have to ban the player for life. That is a, a life bannable uh, sentence. And then this guy right here, his whole his whole life has been blackballed. Now I mean, like now his career is over. With. His NBA career is over, with, man. But anyways, though, y'all know we ain't, notifications ain't been going out, man. Normally this video would have well over fifteen hundred people in here, man. But it is what it is. You guys, let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button, share the video, like the video, subscribe to the podcast show. Link will be pinned at the top of the comments. Uh, notifications have not been going out on this channel for like the last three or four days. So y'all already know what's up, man. Let me know what y'all feel. Peace.